is 6.36. Yesterday, I took a positive pregnancy test. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Doctors usually suggest after miscarriage, you wait before trying to have one period in between. I think that's for a couple reasons, like make sure everything had cleared out so there's no complications, but then also so you can like actually track your pregnancy because I'm not sure if tracking it back to your miscarriage counts the same as, as if it was a period. Can I still be having a positive pregnancy test after my miscarriage? And everywhere I'm reading it's saying it really depends how far along you were. I only knew I was pregnant for two days. My HCGs did not get to a high level. So that's why I really do think that I am pregnant again because like I'm almost certain they dropped to zero. I just logged my miscarriage in my period track as if it was a period like when I got it. And that ended on the 19th of January, which would be over two weeks ago. So I really don't think I still have any HCG left in my body. I think I'm in shock, like I don't, I was just expecting to get my period. And I didn't know when that was gonna be because after a miscarriage, it can kind of make it a little wonky for me. Like I feel like I've been two weeks off before. So there I was packing my bags because I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna like look at my app, even though it's probably not accurate and just see if it says I'm gonna get my period while I'm in Mexico. So it says I'm gonna get it on the 13th. I would never get a positive pregnancy test that like a whole week before my period was gonna start, over a week. And that's why this is messing with my head. But anyways, I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna have my period in Mexico, like I better go out and buy some tampons. <laughs> I didn't have any. And that's when I found that little dollar store pregnancy test in my bathroom. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna triple check. Like, I don't even know why I took it. Like my little sister was like, why did you even take it? It for me was just like closure that I I'm not pregnant anymore and I could just like go on my trip and enjoy, have some drinks, hang out with my best friend, meet all my girls because I'm going for a like work trip. So I don't know what made me take it. <laughs> I think I just, I don't know, it was there. And I'm a chronic tester and I have problems, okay, Jackie? <laughs> that was the test picture that I sent. And the line is right there. And after a few minutes, it was that. Clearly see two lines there. I want to get my blood drawn again. I don't, but I do. Um, but I don't even know if that's going to be, if I could do that because you're supposed to go every 48 hours to watch it rise and I'm going to be in Mexico. Like I literally can't go again till I get back. So I don't know if he's just going to tell me to wait until I get back. It's not like I can just go away and pretend I'm not pregnant. <laughs> 10 DPO is always while I was trying and tracking when I would get my first positive result. But I know people can get positive results on 9DPO. I just, I personally haven't. So that's make, that's what makes me think maybe it was before I went to Joshua Tree, but then that would have meant that I would have ovulated one, two, three. No, no, it's not possible. It would have meant I would have ovulated three days after my miscarriage ended and I stopped bleeding, which I don't see is possible. So say it was after Joshua Tree, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine days after my miscarriage ended, I would have ovulated for me to be around nine or 10 DPO right now. This was yesterday's first response. Like, oh my God. I feel like such a like little kid, like how could this happen? But like I know it, that could happen. Three days ago, I went for my ultrasound to make sure everything had cleared out from my miscarriage. And I think it would have been obviously way too soon to see anything that I was pregnant. There's something I need to be doing right now, like right now to sustain this. We haven't got that far yet because I've just gone for these tests. And if I need to maybe take progesterone or like do anything, 
we haven't got that far yet so that's another reason why i want to see my doctor today and just like ask I just did this i just went through this no i have to pack a few of those tests while i'm away or i'm gonna like but like i just can't believe that it's gonna stay this point I've had more miscarriages than babies so I know you're super hyper fertile after a miscarriage someone was watching over me because my doctor's is very hard to get into and especially on a Monday like calling after the weekend on the phone lines like not a chance so I just drove myself there I went up to the counter and she said that my doctor literally just had a cancellation for like now and I like walked in and saw my doctor faster than I would like if I had an appointment I wanted to make sure I can go to Mexico he said that's totally fine did a pregnancy test while I was there that he said came back positive I said is there any chance this is HCG from my last pregnancy he said uh, no progesterone and he said like yes because I haven't yet had my appointment at the fertility clinic so he said it won't harm anything if I prescribe and you take it but it could actually like make or break if that is what you know your body needs so he prescribed me that I'm just outside the pharmacy and then another thing he prescribed was just the medicine in Mexico for if I were to get sick something I could take that's pregnancy safe I'd try to walk into a life labs to get blood oh that was another thing he sent me for blood work to check my HCG level and I can't see them for another like 75 minutes. I might go get a spray tan. I just got home from dropping off my prescription. I got my nails done. Now we wait, the hardest part. I know I'm under 150 HCG or else the clear blue pregnancy test would have said two to three weeks, but it said one to two. So I'm gonna hang out as the fam tonight, have some snuggles before I leave tomorrow. And uh, I'm definitely gonna pack a few pregnancy tests. I'll have to go for another HCG test right when I get home on the Monday, and that it'll it'll be one week from today. It's HCG, so it should be like substantially higher by next Monday if all is well. Here's to staying positive. As soon as I get that prescription for the pedestrian, I am going to pop that right away because I have nothing to lose. I'm willing to really try anything to help things if I can. This is right now and I feel like it is definitely darker and I'm in the bathroom of the airport about to go to Mexico. Another update, I forgot I didn't update you my HCG. So it was 36 um, and I was guessing that the day that I did the blood draw, I was 10 DPO, but I can't say for sure. Um, so just about, I'm just about to board and my doctor just called me to just confirm pregnancy and tell me to just relax in Mexico, um, take my progesterone pills that I have prescribed and go for more blood work the day after I get home. And hopefully by that point, it has risen quite substantially because that is, that'll be six days. And they say it should double every 48-ish hours. I did tell my husband that I was pregnant. I just handed him the test and asked if he could see two lines. He said, no. And I was like, well, look closer, buddy. <laughs> and I think he's just also in shock because obviously it literally feels like last week for me. Um, but he just texted me because I sent him a picture of the test I just took in the bathroom that is very clearly two lines and it's getting more pink. And he was just like, we're having another baby, but I'm trying to stay hopeful. I feel like Mexico is the best thing I could do during this time. This part where it is like implanting and it's super, super new. 
uh, you really want to lower your stress levels and although I'm gonna be worried about my kids I think you know I'm not gonna be like breastfeeding and I'm gonna just be relaxing by the beach with my best friend so I'm really hoping that this one sticks Going. Also, I'm gonna do a first response. I cheated and I looked and I already see two lines. It's like, I know I'm pregnant, but I can't fully accept that I'm pregnant yet. I don't know what to do with myself. That looks like really positive. Oh my God. I think that that is the strongest I've taken. Let's check the easy at home. Stick, baby. Just going on. Please stay. This line makes me happy. And that was this morning. I got in from Mexico late last night and I am going to go do my second blood draw at Life Labs and I brought Reese with me today. I should be high. <laughs> it is 4.45. I got my blood taken today at like 11 a.m. Yeah, like 10, 30, 11. And, um, just a few minutes ago, I logged on to see if my results were in yet. And I saw that they are in because when there's a red like flag right there, that means that it's like completed, but I haven't opened it yet. So I did the math. If I am in like the high 500s, that would be me doubling every 48 hours till today. Of course my camera dies right before I looked at it, but I didn't open it. I haven't had like symptoms yet. That's the one thing that kind of scares me. <sighs> Yay. It's 1,178. I'm very happy with that number. Game, can you stay? Oh. I went for my third HCG blood draw this morning. And my doctor also called me today, just kind of saying that he's really happy with my second blood draw numbers. Keep the time passing. Me and the kitties are at the aquarium. So we're gonna hang out here for the day. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Still no symptoms, which is the only thing that I'm like, if I could just feel a little nauseous, I'd probably be feeling better. But anyways, I will keep you up. It's a Thursday. I had my blood drawn yesterday for my second, sorry, third HCG blood draw. And um, I was going to film myself looking at the results last night, but I just kind of opened them at the dinner table with my husband. I was hoping for 2,200. That would have been um, doubled in 48 hours. And my results were 2,648. 
So that made me really happy. I haven't seen high numbers like that in a long time. I feel like I could stop going for blood work, but I do have a standing order until February 20th, which is just like a few more days. So I might go again tomorrow and I should be in the 5,000s. I have a requisition to call and book my ultrasound appointment. Again, this is the com confusing part where I don't know how many weeks I am. If I am basing off of the first day of my miscarriage, only four weeks and four days. So for an HCG to be in the 2000s in the fourth week, that doesn't seem right to me. I think I am five and a half weeks um but i don't know i think i'm gonna book my ultrasound for when we get back from tofino and that is gonna be one two yeah three weeks and so by then i'm hoping that i'm far enough along to see heartbeat and for them to give me like an estimated due date um so i'm actually gonna call right now i haven't taken one of these in a few days and today is the first day where the first line is darker than the second one. Hi there, I have a requisition for an ultrasound. Okay, what was your last I had a miscarriage, so I don't know, but I can give you the first day of my miscarriage, okay. if that um, counts. Yeah. So how far along does the doctor think you are? He put in the requisition that he's thinking about six weeks. Yeah. Um, I'll give you the first available day, March the 8th at 7, 7.45 p.m. Yep, that works. And the care card number? And your Monica? Yes. You can come in with a full bladder, four glasses of water, two hours before. Uh, you can bring one adult guest, please, no children. Okay. And we'll see you for uh, March the 8th at 7.45 p.m. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. We'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. now. <laughs> Good morning. It is 9.48. I am about to go in for my fourth HCG blood draw. I decided last night I wanted to come again today because I hadn't really been feeling any pregnancy symptoms, but then I woke up this morning and I just kind of felt pregnant. Um, blood work app. So, oh. Hi. Hi. How are, How are you? you? I'm good. I'm just waiting outside of Life Labs. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a good one though, because you'll see even more. Hello. It is now March 13th. It's been about a month since I last did an update. I think the last one I was going for my fourth or fifth HCG draw. You know all those times I was like, oh, I don't feel any symptoms and I'm a little nervous I don't feel any symptoms yet. Well, every single first trimester symptoms smacked me in the face like immediately after that. And I have been down for the past three weeks. And when I mean down, I mean the worst nausea I've ever experienced. Like I thought, and I did have a really hard first trimester with Linnea, throwing up daily and just having like a really hard time coping, taking the nausea medication, not really finding any relief. And it has been like that times 10. We went to Tofino for a family vacation and I didn't even get to enjoy any of it. I slept the entire time, threw up the entire time and just tried to survive the entire time. Um, it was really nice because I had my in-laws there and my husband and my kids had a great time. Ever since we've been back, it's been the exact same. I'm having a hard time finding any relief. I am taking the Declectin as well as like an acid suppressor pill. Um, when I was in Tofino, I actually called my doctor begging if I can like up my dose or if there's anything else I can do to try to find relief. And he said on top of what I'm taking, I can take gravel, just like making sure that I'm not driving. It's just been really rough, like really, really rough. I'm 
throwing up multiple times a day. Smells are disgusting. Everything smells. <laughs> People smell, dogs smell, like the air smells. My husband smells. I can't even look at a toilet without throwing up. I do have like help, I'm so lucky. Like I feel so blessed for all of the family and the help that I have around me. It's been, it's been a rough go. When I went to the dating ultrasound, my app and like I figured I'd, I was around seven weeks and three days. That was March 7th. I was exactly eight weeks. Excited that I was like four days more pregnant than I thought. And so in doing that math, I actually conceived about three days after my miscarriage ended, which still in my head, like I don't even know how that's possible. Um, but it is, and that's what happened. Is the little bean. Heart rate was 155. That was one week ago. So as of today, I am officially nine weeks. Yeah, we are having a baby and I just feel so incredibly blessed and excited. It is everything I've ever wanted. This is the first time I've gotten ready since Mexico, over a month. <laughs> but we are going to go take some announcement pictures. I'm excited. <laughs> 